It's ironic that over the same weekend, Marvel released the last episode of what is probably their greatest MCU series, as well as a mediocre movie with no stakes whatsoever. Loki is one of the few MCU projects from the past couple phases that pays attention to detail and actually has a plan with their story. Marvel has failed relentlessly with their Disney Plus shows, and that's simply because they don't know how to make a TV series. There's no plan from the very beginning. Loki, on the other hand, was the exception, because the writers clearly had a plan from the very beginning, and it shows. It's surprisingly the only Marvel project that seems to set up the next big event of the MCU, but at this point, no one seems to care. Regardless, Loki isn't a great series because it sets up a larger storyline, it actually has a complex story with well-written characters. From the beginning, I assumed that a Marvel series with Owen Wilson was just going to be another Thor Love and Thunder where he says funny lines like he would say from the Wedding Crashers, maybe he says ka -chow every now and then. I thought it was going to be embarrassing. Now he does have some cringy lines here and then. You're a man. You're a You're nowhere man. You're a silly little man. But even his character Mobius has depth that I would not have expected. It was certainly a character that was written for him. But the best piece of writing in this entire series is for the main character himself, Loki. Of course Loki is a well-established character that we've seen throughout every phase of the MCU, but these past two seasons of Loki have really managed to take his character to another realm that we have never seen before. He's a character that's afraid of being alone, and with that we're able to understand him a little bit better. We understand his intentions and why he wants to save the people around him. We get to see him go from being the god that wants to rule the earth to the god that saves the multiverse. Given every phase we've seen him in, this was the biggest development for the character. All I'm saying is the creative team behind Loki really seems to actually have a good understanding of the material they are working with. It's one of the few projects where the green screen is very minimal and the shots and set design are a sight to see. Why is it so difficult for Marvel to make projects that have the ending plan from the very beginning? Why can't they take the time to develop their characters instead of moving on to the next character with a solo project? I am more invested in characters like Mobius and Sylvie than I am in all the recent editions of Marvel Heroes. Why can't we get more projects like Loki and Guardians Volume 3 where our characters have depth and meaning? They're actually given time to breathe and really flesh out these characters. It's become so rare for us to get a project that breaks the current formula that is dragging the MCU down. There are so many issues with the current MCU, a whole 10 page essay could be written about it. The thing is, I genuinely want these movies and series to be good as much as I don't really care for Disney, but they have to step it up. Otherwise, they'll keep losing people and we'll keep getting more movies and shows like the Marvels, Secret Invasion, and worst of all, Quantumania. What we need is more projects like Loki.